So yeah, I had this uh, phone in my pocket this morning, and one of my pockets here, and I'm walking around, and I like to uh, make some phone calls while I'm doing my hikes, and I was walking around downtown Athens, and then all of a sudden I look at my phone, and it's like literally like a new phone. It's completely like, hi there, welcome to Android, and then, you know, click here, and then it wants all my passwords for my Wi-Fi and my Google account, and... And then it, it's it's starting over like it's a brand new phone, and I don't know. It's got, <laughs> so anyway, so I can't even make a phone call on it. All my contacts are gone now. I did back up everything on Google, so it's uh, been uploading crap and uh, very downloading various uh, apps and stuff. But uh, I don't know, man. I, I I don't know either. The phone it's a thirty five dollar phone, so I may end up having to get a new phone. Please send me money. But then again, it may just have been I was in my pants pocket and it bumped something and hit the button that says reset my phone. I don't know. So I do have two phones, which is good. So I do have the hotline. That's still working. But my other phone, the one with all my secret connect. <laughs> oh, that's right. All of the secret phone numbers. Oh, I, I lost all those secret phone numbers that were on that phone. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Just uh, checking out a few uh, videos here before I get into letters, letters, letters. Want to do a shout out to the Insane Chef. Uh, a couple of my uh, subscribers have been mentioning Mr. I.C. and uh, some cool stuff there. A guy with a big beard. You, you know, you can't put down a channel where you feature guys with big uh -oh. ZZ top beards, right? That's not the Insane Chef. Well, that guy is. Anyway, anyway, we have 4th of July. I get together there. And some good stuff here from the Insane Chef, New all no, Nolan style. That's right. Uh, anyway, uh, there he is. And uh, traveling the world, Arkansas, <laughs> Zatarans. Yeah, you got it. Anyway, check out the Insane Chef. I subscribe to him, so uh, we will uh, be talking about him more. But I just wanted to put that on the radar. Oh, yeah. Check out his channel. It's pretty cool. I also want to do a shout out to one of my uh, subscribers who I see in a lot of my comments. Boom, bubble, bust, and repeat. Uh, I also subbed to him. Uh, pretty cool. A lot of cool stuff. He's thinking there might be another one of those mortgage meltdowns in 2020. Kind of like what happened to my phone today, right? Ah! At least I don't have any mortgage, I don't have any uh, property to melt down, so I guess I'm okay with that. But I, I think we all were hit by that, the mortgage meltdown in 2008. Uh, some really good economic videos here, the housing market and other cool stuff, real estate investments, rental stuff. Some good businessy type, uh, real estate-y type videos here. Check them out, boom, bubble, bust, and repeat. And when you go there, say, Dave sent me. Taz Mod says Molly the cat says happy birthday to Beamer. That's right. <clears throat> Barb's cat uh, Beamer is 13 today. So happy birthday Beamer. Oh yeah. Chad Braun writes I was visiting with dad yesterday and he has an acre of land in the country with a house and a and a logger detached garage. Logger detached garage slash shop with no debt free and clear but his property taxes are now through the roof so he told me that he was going to uh, what is saying to his significant other that they would be have to sell the property buy a camper RV and live on the road I don't think he was serious though I told him he should learn you he should watch his YouTube stuff make a little money on the road yeah he can learn how to do that he's 60 years old and would like to retire at 62 but doesn't know if he'll be able to do so because of the tax thing well that's true those property taxes in some states can uh, really set you back a lot. And that's, a one ad I guess, one advantage of a living on the road, right? Oh, yeah. Got a shout-out from Backroads Nomad. Enjoyed your video and your chat the other day. Happy Sunday to my camo brother. Welcome to the New World YT Order. That's right. That's Boyt 2.0. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boyt. Boyd's not, Boyd 1.0 is dead, but here comes 2.0. There the vibe writes that e-begging is not just in the Nomad RV van community. It's in every YouTube genre, whether it's makeup tutorials, shopping hauls, fitness vids, diet channels, spirituality, and supermarket and supernatural channels, i.e. Tarot, uh, a whole bunch of other channels. Everyone who can monetize will do so. 
Uh, however, the blatant, my tire is flat, no money for gas, cat needs surgery, or I need a fridge crap is just about, is just over the top. Where is their pride? Where is the, I can do this because it was my choice to live in such a way, ethics. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I love the videos, too, where somebody says, oh, my so-and-so isn't working. And then they just end their video like that. And then the next day they come on and go, oh, there was nothing wrong with my so-and-so. I just uh, didn't have it plugged in or something. You know what I'm saying? And you know they got a couple of donations, uh, maybe a 50 bucks or a, hey, here's some money to help fix your so-and-so. Yeah, I don't know, man. You know... I guess someone could do that innocently, but, you know, the brain, the, 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 the brain is cranking, you know? Holly Jean TSM, a.k.a. Barbie, happy birthday, Beamer the cat, and little Adam too, that's right, they're both 13. Craig, my doxinator may have put you in his will. Yeah, well, you know, I, I think I'm getting like his uh, humidor, I think that's what he's going to put me down for. But anyway, but he has awarded custody of Jilly to me. Hope you and Barb have a great Sunday. Hey, Jilly is, belongs to his wife, okay? Uh, Champ is his dog. Champ's the little crazy uh, Jack Russell. That's his dog. Jilly, although Jilly is adorable, that's, that's his wife's dog. I don't think he has custody of it. I was just talking about Boom Bubble Bust and Repeat, and we got a nice uh, uh, email from him, or comment. Oh, this is my favorite topping, the Housing Bubble 2.0. Wow, yeah, that's right. They wait for that. Something big. You know, he's in, I guess he's in the Vegas area where, yeah, they really got hit hard by it. I mean, even today, it's, it's still affecting a lot of people, right? Anyway, uh, don't become a tenant of the banks. All right, so yeah, check his channel out. RV Keeping It Rolling says, you're right, Dave, housing is not available to many on fixed incomes or those basically working poor or retired poor, even if you're a dollar over to qualify for low-income housing. I mean, you've got to be pretty low-income to qualify for the low-income housing. And there's a lot of people that don't qualify for the low-income housing that still can't get by on their own and get good housing, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Maureen adds $1,200 and up for a one-bedroom apartment is not affordable, even for single folks on a fixed income. That's very true. <laughs> what Craig wrote, my doxinator, Camo Dave is the answer to a roomie without benefits. That's right. If you want a roomie without benefits, anybody want to... <laughs> Camo Dave's your man. KC ADV writes, uh, we don't sub to anyone that full times in a car, van, school bus, or any raunchy looking RV of any kind and or believes that the RTR is a life changing event. Whoa, that's a lot of people you're not sub to, huh? I was telling uh, the, this morning's video how there's a guy here in Georgia named Danny who wants me to uh, skydive. <laughs> you know, I, as I said, I'm afraid to go up in that hot air balloon there at Disney, you know, I'm not skydive. Anyway, Leisure 057 Blank writes, don't do it. Don't do a skydive. Don't do it. I, I, I believe you. I believe you. Vivian wonders why Rob there, Little House on the Road, is always bitching and moaning. <laughs> he's at the Majestic Grand Canyon, and he's still a downer, according to Vivian. He wants to go back to Texas for free water and electric, but complains about other campers doing the same. He's always, yeah, complaining. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, just kick back and enjoy the ma majesty of the Grand Canyon for a few minutes, can't you, Rod? Rob? And James Rockford says, I really don't believe the shortage of affordable housing has anything to do with the bottom of YouTuber RVers. 99% of these bottom of YouTube no, uh, YouTubers are more than physically able to do a full-time job with benefits, but they decide not to. Uh, many are scamming the taxpayers, getting Social Security disability. Now, who could be getting Social Security disability? And isn't it funny how the f people that are getting disability, they look around and anyone else who's getting some sort of government handout, that really roils them up, doesn't it? He's getting government, he's, he's mooching, he's couch surfing, but they're getting on disability, but yeah. It's funny, those folks that are getting the disability are the ones that are the most angry when they see other people allegedly getting a free ride. I don't know, man. But again, I'm, you know, 
I believe in disability. I think a disability check is a good thing. It's good that we have that because it helps people who have disabilities, and that's what government should do. But I digress. James Rockford continues, yeah, living off the e-begging scams. Well, you know, again, this is America, and uh, begging is a big thing in America, and, you know, nobody has to give money to anybody. You know, they may be asking for it, but there's no law saying you have to give anybody any money. Especially on YouTube. Charlton? My docs in there send me money, send me money? <laughs> Craig? Jelly Jean TSM, Craig, do you have a PayPal up? Oh, I'm simply pimping for Camo Dave. <laughs> all right, you know, all right. Afri Nomadic says he loves the Indigo Traveler. Yeah, I do too. It's a New Zealand guy who goes all to a lot of weird places like Venezuela and Iran and North Korea. Anyway, can you imagine making $15 per hour and at, at 40 hours, that's like a weekly wage, would be about $2,500. And you go out for a hamburger and your hamburger is $770. Basically, that's what he showed us, right? A hamburger, hamburger meal would be a third, about a th almost a third of your weekly income. Uh, places like Venezuela, yeah, it's it's amazing, isn't it? How crazy things are in some other places. Finally, Small Z B fifty two writes, "Crotchy is fun." The vlogger puppets is mean. It's often hard to tell who VP is trying to portray. His puppets are messy and multi-purposed to the point of confused identities. He, his jokes are straight out of a junior high school boy's bathroom. Blah. Well, I didn't say it, okay? <laughs> uh, that Blame it on the schmalzy B-52, all right? Anyway... <laughs> I, I do occasionally try to put a comment on the Vlogger Puppets page, uh, some of their videos, and everybody says, Get out of here! We don't want your kind here! Leave us alone! So I take it down. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, letters, letters, letters for the 14th of July, 2019. Vlog under. Jordy, uh, uh, Jilly's doing her spin. Her morning spin on the carpet. Are you done yet? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, yeah! The games have begun. <laughs> Vlog under. This has been a crotchy production under the auspices of ZEP LLC. Oh, yeah. Now oh, I gotta punch it. Rum, rum, rum. <laughs>